lightly with your finger pads all around that margin, inside edge margin of the eye socket, okay? Okay, let's take a general look at your eye sockets here. You can see these holes right there. Now your eyeball sits inside of there and it actually is at an angle. It doesn't come straight out like that, it's this way. Now there's a lot of tension that you'll get around the eye socket in general because remember, everything is connected. So think about how often during the day you do things like this, eyes up, eyes down, looking all over the place, and then you have this connective tissue fascia that pulls. You pull on one area and it can travel to another, kind of like my shirt here. If I pull here, you can see how it influences all the way over there because the body is an interconnected system. So what we're going to do is we're going to go lightly with your finger pads all around that margin, inside edge margin of the eye socket, okay? Going in any direction that you want. I just don't want you to cause too much pain or discomfort because it will likely feel some discomfort in there if you need it. it. Be careful not to press directly on the eyeball itself. If you have discomfort or pain, lighten up your touch. Hopefully it eases up over time. Make sure that you do both sides. Try this every single day and see if it helps you when you have uh, tightness or tension around the head, neck, face, sinuses, or you're dealing with some headaches. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna use your finger pads. It could be one, two, three. It could even be your thumb. It's whatever you like. So look, I'm gonna show you here first on the skull. You'll put it just like this and rub it side to side like this. Okay, maybe even a little bit in and out. Okay, you figure it out and work your way around. You'll likely feel a lot of issues right up in this side here. Okay and down inside this margin there, but it can be anywhere. So I'm gonna take my glasses off and come in. Let me show you, so I'm gonna do my right eye, take my finger pads, come right here, and just press and then massage. I'm going side to side and then back and forth. You see that? And then, oh, right there, that's a good one. Man, I need to hang on that spot for just a little bit. Rub it till it eases up. Then I'm going more towards the inside, right there. Oh, even kind of gives me a little bit of a headache. Breathe it out, lighten up your pressure if you need to. And then when you're doing up on this top part, look, you can use your fingers like this, or I like to use my thumb. It gets under there quite nicely, but it's up to you. Oh man. Man, I really needed to do this today. Good thing I'm showing you this video right there. That's a big migraine spot that I find on people. <sighs> big point for a nerve there. And then more towards the inside like that. And now I'm gonna compare to the other side. Here we go. People always ask me, can you do both sides at the same time? You can, you know, it's just up to you. Some people like to do them together, some people separate because you can feel the difference between the two. Like this side, I have a lot less tension on by far. So what does that mean? Well, just pay more attention to the side that you need it on. Right? Double down on that side. This one's pretty good. This one, big time different, okay? And I'm gonna go back and spend a little bit more time on that. Open and close your eyes. You know, maybe even rub a little bit here. Go back and watch my uh, eye video on palming like this. I'll put it in the uh, show notes below, or maybe it'll tag at the end of this video and check that out. So here's a nice combination do this and then follow it up with the eye palming i bet you're gonna feel really freaking good all right for more stuff check us out on stopchasingpain.com don't forget to hit that subscribe button here so you never miss any future videos thanks for tuning in